Okay, I am back from drilling holes. Um, added the extra holes in the metal uh, plate for the uh, LED and the uh, GK volume pot and the uh, select switch. It's kind of a tight fit for the select switch, but it looks like it'll work. And I did the uh, Pardon the jumping around. Did the holes, most of the holes on the guitar um, down here are the uh, holes for the uh, S1 and S2 switches. And I've traced out where to cut for the uh, 13 pin connector. Uh, that's coming next. That's probably the hardest part. And um, down inside the cavity, um, I've added a, uh, routed out a little uh, trench for the preamp board. It will uh, sit vertically right in there. This is hard to do with one hand. But you get the idea. So it'll fit fits just perfectly in this cavity, and then the uh, control plate or the uh, metal plate will go over that control board. And hopefully, all those wires will uh, fit down in that hole. But as far as I can tell, it looks like they will. And as you can see, I I did not disconnect all these wires because I want to keep the amount of soldering. To a minimum because every time you add heat it um, you run the risk of damaging something so I've just taped everything back to keep them safe all right this last bit of cutting appears to be successful let me take you on a closer tour I ended up um, relocating where I was going to put the 13 pin connector opening um, because it appeared it was going to be just too crowded uh, where I had planned it originally um, because of all the wiring and the uh, guitar jack and everything this would be right there in that corner. So I moved it over here to this side and uh, took a lot of uh, a lot of cutting, but I got in there. So I used, um, so I traced the opening like I did before, and then I started by drilling uh, four eighth inch holes in the corners, and then uh, a pilot hole, eighth inch pilot hole in the middle, and then I enlarged that with my uh, three eighths inch bit, which was the largest one in the set. Um, in retrospect, I think I'd probably use uh, two slightly smaller bits than the 3 8 maybe like 5 16 and do them diagonally just eat up more wood but anyway I ended up once that was done and I put a depth marker on the drill bits so um, based on the measurement the size of the uh, connector board so I would only go that deep internally um, and uh, then I routed the rest out with the Dremel very carefully. And inside I drilled a, I don't know if you can see it, I drilled a uh, tunnel from this cavity over to the other cavity for the uh, wires to go to the preamp board. And uh, I had to use a Yeah, 3 8 inch bit um, in order for the connectors to fit through the hole. And um, so that's almost all the cutting and drilling that I have to do. The last piece would be for the uh, GK pickup cable over here, and I'm going to do that towards the end. All right, I'm back from uh, doing the wiring, and uh, this has been pretty much an all day adventure on and off. 
Um, I couldn't film doing the soldering because it was just too tedious, but I'll show you kind of what I've got. So um, you can see I've got the, uh, it's jam-packed, but I've got the uh, preamp board in there all with all the uh, wire harnesses plugged in and everything connected back to this metal plate. There's the, uh, the guitar volume and the uh, guitar tone and the GK volume and the select switch and then the uh, guitar jack and uh, this is the uh, pickup selector switch up here but that wasn't affected by the wiring and then the uh, rolling pickup can't really see it from here and uh, my battery is low on my camcorder so I'm tethered to a power cord so I can't get any closer than I am right now but anyway I had to notch right under this uh, pickup ring, uh, a spot for that uh, cable from the rolling pickup to go through so it didn't get pinched. Um, but it'll all get covered by the, uh, the white pickup guard, so it should be pretty, uh, pretty invisible when I'm done. Um, that's pretty much it for now. It took a lot of time. Um, and I had to uh, do a little bit more routing than I planned to make the uh, for the preamp board to fit because these pots were running into the uh, the connectors um, after I tried to shove it all in there but now it fits so anyway um, I think it's about time to button it up all right so there is pretty much the finished product um, but I don't have the strings on yet. Um, I'll do the strings and the final pickup setup next. Um, and God willing, everything works. Um, that'll be the real test. Um, it better. <laughs> anyway, um, there's the probably the first in the world uh, Fender Marauder with an internal Roland GK3 pickup. Um, Again, there's the S1, S2 switches, my 13-pin connectors down here, the regular guitar cord connectors here, uh, normal guitar volume, normal guitar um, tone, the GK volume, uh, the GK LED, all there. Um, all together, this took me pretty much most of the day. I didn't really time myself, but um, it's probably about six hours of total work just my guess. Um, so that's it. Um, thanks to uh, all the information from the folks on the VG Guitar Forums and uh, everyone else who out there in internet land that's contributed to uh, this GK knowledge. Um, it's an awful lot of fun. So anyway, I uh, hope this helps somebody. I will also post um, written directions for the steps that I followed uh, along with this video.